Hey everyone, I'm Timmy Sean. I'm the guy who makes all the music on this channel. Uh, if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Uh, would love if you hit the subscribe button and come back. Uh, for those of you who are coming back, welcome back. Thought today I'd break down a little bit of how I made the Beatles 64, 65, 66 AI video. It started off as just a cover. I love the Beatles, Paul's produced version. I think is beautiful and John's vocal is haunting and I couldn't compete with that. So when I first heard the song on Thursday, like everyone else, I woke up at 6.30 and was waiting to listen on the Beatles Sirius XM station on Breakfast with the Beatles with the great Chris Carter and my buddy Luis, uh, the producer on that. And I was listening to their feed uh, through my phone, into the TV, into my speaker so I could hear the whole thing at 7 a.m. I was blown away. I love what Paul did with it. I started picking up an acoustic guitar to just kind of learn the chords and it kind of revealed itself to me as like, oh, this is very similar to like, I'll be back, things we said today, which a lot of people picked up on. So maybe like a... in like a 64 Beatles tune. Late 64. It is Thursday, November 2nd. I just listened to Now and Then about 15 times. It's amazing. We have new Beatles music in 2023. It's amazing. Kind of inspired to record a cover, even though why would you want to touch John Paul, George, and Ringo together? Um, so I'm going to try my hand at my own version of Now and Then today and try to get it out by tomorrow before the music video comes out. So here we go. I put that out the next morning. People seem to dig it, but I was still curious what it would sound like. Like a 60s mix, I recut the drums, a little more Ringo-esque. And then I started dabbling with the AI stuff and it didn't really work at first. And I tried another take of vocals and sang it a little more like John and a little more like Paul. And it was like, oh, if Paul sang the verse and they trade it off, that would be kind of cool. And then there was a George AI and put in a low harmony. People seem curious, what is AI? What is real? But I thought I'd just break it down a little bit. Here's a little clip of me. This is everything as recorded with my own vocals. So here's a little clip of that. So as you can hear, I don't really sound like John or Paul, but if you're off key, the AI will be off key. If you put vibrato to it, it'll put vibrato to it. It just matches the tone. So I used Voiceify for anybody curious. They offer a subscription, I believe. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. They had a Paul, a George, a John, and they also had a Liam and Noel uh, Gallagher which some people were like, oh, Liam Gallagher would kill this song, and I'd rather just him cover it. But I thought it'd be kind of cool if Liam and Noel traded off versus kind of like John and Paul does in my AI version. So I gave that a shot the other day and just literally did about one take of each instrument, a couple of guitars, tried to channel my inner 12-year-old learning Oasis guitar solos, probably played it a little too simple. Noel's a good guitar player and he could do a better job, and they all could do a better job than me. But it was fun. So, long live the Beatles. They still keep going. 2023, number one, number one single. It's awesome. It's, it's so exciting. I remember sitting in front of the TV as a little kid, waiting for 
the Free as a Bird video. The anthology was my Sullivan, and I just remember waiting for a new Beatles song, and the video blew me away. It still blows me away to this day. I love the Threedles stuff, including this. And uh, maybe I'll do something else. I had an idea for maybe Real Love or something. But please keep coming back. Hopefully you dig what I've been doing. And, and also, please check out my original music if you like any of this stuff. Timmy Sean, I'm on Spotify, Apple Music. I'll put a link also in the description. And I guess that's it for now. Please come back. Thank you.